Yeah, me too. And like, I do like a season where it's everyone. Wait, Crystal is fighting with Emery right now. Wait, Crystal's fighting with Dory. Like that's happening. Yeah. This is how, like, I really like, and you now Erica and I mean, um, Sutton and yeah, Kyle we, they, are having a bonding moment. Like yeah. they right? needed that alliance broken up. It was that, that alliance was just awful. The, the Kyle, Erica, Dorit, Rina. Rina. It was just that that was they were all they were they were the mean girls of Beverly Hills. Yeah. Yeah. And so like I read and I love when like Erica's out at the classic cat with Sutton and Garcelle. Like I love when it just the dynamics change. So yeah. Mm -hmm. But so what is this, Sarah? Housewife oh, no, and Hustler I, I, Part Two? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. T t okay, so part so part two is coming of this. Um, D Daniel, did you watch Part One, Housewife and the Hustler? Not only did I watch part one, I had a viewing party with fifteen friends in New York City, and you did not. I was me. living in I was living in Berlin at the okay. time, so I was there, and some of my friends didn't know what was happening. <laughs> They were like, who are these people? I sprung it on them. But for me, Housewife and the Hustler, the, the first one was like, I was fascinated by it, but it was also very serious and very dark. Um, I like that this one seems to be a little more, we're getting more into, like the first one was informative and it was about the victims and it was about how much pain Tom yeah. Girardi had inflicted on these people. But this one, I like that it's a little more sensational. It looks like it's going to be more about about Erica's role in it um, and about her, her, like this is also the fact that she participated in it with, is part of this PR strategy to rehabilitate her image. Okay, and this so is my question to both of you. You know, you're, Daniel, you're in the entertainment business too. I mean, does it seem odd? I mean, she, first of all, Erica must be getting paid, right? I mean, to do this, she's sitting down with the victims and how did she get in touch? Is anyone else confused? Like, how did she get no. in touch with the producers? The, the first half, yeah. they pretty much make her look like guilty with Tom and how awful Tom is. And they add on to all of her misery of what maybe she knew or didn't know. And then now it's like she's suddenly going to, I mean, she's sitting down at the table. I don't know what to say. I want to hear you. I mean, wait, is anyone else like lost how we got? Yeah. She, yeah. um, so I had heard some podcast interviews with one of the ladies who um, is uh, advocating for the victims. She's yeah. been on Heather McDonald's podcast. She's going to be so on another podcast that you know very well soon. Oh, possibly. Oh, possibly. <laughs> but but <laughs> Sarah's Erica, like, what? Erica uh, made an effort to reach so out. So forget to about Heather McDonald. Sorry. Story. It's okay. But, it's okay. but Erica has, has been trying to, and I think, I don't know if this is necessarily a strategy or is if it's something that she wants to do just for her own, like, you know, for her own spiritual sake, but she's been making an effort to reach out to these people and try to have some sort of, um, I, the thing is, I, what I'm not sure about is how much of it was her legal team holding her back from doing that. You're... <laughs> you're just way listen i have nothing against erica but i mean i have to be honest you know i take no sides this is why people call me a flip-flopper I, I, I just don't think it's the legal team i think it's like i yeah. don't buy it i think this was look i mean i was in the randall scandal lala was in that it is different but i mean i can tell you she got paid so yes erica got paid for this i think it's all i don't feel any authenticity from Erica in meeting the victims, promising all sorts of things. I mean, there's a camera there. Here's the question, which maybe will get answered soon on the podcast. I mean, has Erica followed up? Has Was there promises yeah. made to the victims? Have you accomplished all these things? Really? No? What? What was that? I just think it's, uh, I just, I don't think it's authentic. That's just me. Well, she she did don't. say, what were the famous words? I don't give a about anyone else but me. You could swear. She said that. it. She said it. Uh, my EJ. I, I love it. Uh, Daniel, are you a fan? I'm I'm a huge fan of EJ's. I just I, I was love... I was initially. I think that she can get into a very dark headspace. Uh, and she can be very cruel sometimes. And she like Catherine Edwards said this once where she does this sort of like I'm a broad, like almost like this uh, Mae West kind of attitude. That, just that is exactly fall, what Catherine Edwards Where it just kind of, it falls so flat and, and it just doesn't work. But uh, but at the same time, I'm a gay man and we love 
you know, a comeback story. We love an exaggerated diva. There, there are things that I think about her. I think she has aspects to her that are fantastic. This is, we, we don't live in a world where everyone is a Disney character, where they're entirely good and entirely evil. Yeah, that's so, true. Um, you know, so, so that is what it is. And I think she's definitely a captivating person. And I've enjoyed watching her on the show. My so my gayness takes over with Erica sometimes yeah, too. It does. Definitely. It just like I have blinders on. I'm just like fabulous, fabulous, <laughs> darling. Yeah. And then I come back. It's like yeah, I'm 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 like mixed on Erica a lot. Yeah, I so I hope I think it'll be a good. It'll that'll be a a TV movie or a a limited series. I would like to watch the Girardis. Oh, me too. Well, you're going to get to watch a limited series about her in Vegas. I mean, I went to the Vegas show. I mean, they're, they're bringing it to Bravo. I think it's like two, three episodes, four episodes. Wow. That's so great. I'm going to see Countess Luann tomorrow. You In New York or there? Yes. Yes. I We're going again. First of all, if you see her, tell her you know me. She is my dear. Oh. Someone, one of my friends was there last night and was like, come with me, come with me. And I'm like, I'm going with Sarah. So I'm not going. But have you ever seen it? You, you will you'll love it. I'm so excited. It's oh my God. I'll be, I'll be screaming every song. Like I'm obsessed with her. Yeah. Uh, wait, it's one a, more thing on Beverly Hills before we move on. The other thing that Anne-Marie revealed, and I believe lots of sources did this week, is Kathy Hilton shows up, is part of the RHOBH reunion. Um. All right. Why? Apparently, this was because they she needed to heal with Kyle. Like they needed to have a moment. And Marie teases that they have this very genuine moment. But then there's been a lot made of this. Is this Kathy's like play to return to the next season? Is Kathy coming back? What do y'all make of him? I think uh, they both want Kathy back, and she wanted to come back. I think that it was it wasn't resolved. It should have been resolved, but they needed a timeout. Uh, and I think that um, I think it will be a better show with Kathy Hilton on it. You think she's coming back? I I, I think that it's definitely possible. I, I and I would like to see it. I would be very interested in that. I, I loved the seasons with her. I thought it was fantastic. Oh me too. I just saw the replay of that very famous moment where, where Sutton's like, I'm tired of pretending everything's hunky dory. <laughs> He's like, hold on. Who's hunky dory? Yeah. I can't. We need her. She's so. Sarah amazing. loves Kathy. I, I, look, I would, yeah. I, even more than EJ, I just, I don't, do not speak poorly of my Kathy. I, I don't know. There's something about Kathy Hilton. I, I just think it's a dream to live that delusional. You know what I mean? Just yeah. like, it, it's like, me, who lives like yeah. that? For me, what I like about Beverly Hills, and, and I, in terms of casting, if you were to have a cast shakeup, David, for me, what I 